Okay, so once they get down there, it's missing her 100%. You see? That is 100% missing her. What's up, zombie slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for 7 Days to Die Alpha... Se oh, God, look at that. <laughs> Alpha 17! Oh, man. How's everybody doing? Just ruin my intro. Just ruin my freaking intro. Well, all right, guys, we are back in Alpha 17. What am I going to be doing today? Today, I mean, today, tonight, and tomorrow is just going to be all about getting ready for Horde Night. Oh, also, one other thing I wanted to do, I do have an extra battery bank, an ill-gotten battery bank that I shouldn't have because when I spawned them in for the tests, I forgot to throw it away. So let me do that right now on video. All right, and... No, that's CM mode, damn it. All right, get out of DM mode and go into CM mode. You, there we go. You can go to hell, ill-gotten battery bank. Get out of creative mode. Okay. All right. So anyway, <laughs> this is a hell of a freaking beginning. Uh, let me grab... Do I have any ramps? Yes. Oh, no, no, no. I don't need ramps. I need tips. I don't see any tips. I could probably make some. Uh, they might actually be in here. Hold on. Yep, there we go. And we're going to upgrade that sucker, too, to uh, cobblestone. What happens is anytime you run over those uh, those wedge tip things, they get hit by the bike. And then uh, they just keep taking damage, and eventually they, uh, you know, get broken out. So, oh, boy. So let's go ahead and put that down, and let's just go ahead and upgrade these now. I do not want to go to... I do not want to go to uh, reinforce concrete, though, or concrete even. Eh, maybe I should at some point, right? Why not? But not right now. Let's cross over here carefully, because you never know when the guys are going to spit up. They're going to spawn. I knew it. You know, I had, a, I had a sixth sense, right? I'm like, I think we're going to get some spawns. I smell some spawns. All right, well, it is what it is. Well, we got the gun, right? So let's do this. Are any others going to spawn? Or is it just those? No, oh, there we go. I hate these sons of bees. I hate them. Oh, boy. That is a loud gun right there. All right, come at me. Come at me, folks. Oh, suck it. Ah, that's what you get. Oh, how do you like me now? <laughs> Punks. You better send irradiated at me. You, you guys don't have a chance. Where's your irradiated friends, huh? Huh? Get up. Sit down. That freaking helmet ain't gonna save you. Nope. Wow. Yeah, I'm just kind of like a wrecking crew. You know, no big deal. Uh, should we go clean out underneath too? Yeah, we'll ignore that for now. Um, anytime the zombies spawn on top, they're going to spawn underneath as well. But I'm going to leave that alone. While we're here. Come on. There we go. I'll have to upgrade that properly at some point, but... All right, well, that got my that got the juices flowing. Let's do this. So what are we going to be doing today? We have to solidify our snake pathways. Uh, Viper's Gambit, Pliskin's Path, and Anaconda of the Headless. The A Anaconda of the Headless. I think that's what I called the last one. We have, to, uh, we have to set those up. I have a different setting for both of them. I'm going to go over that when we get over there. Let's just go ahead and turn that off. And let's see what we got in here. I'm kind of curious. All right, nothing I really care about. Uh, what do we got in here? Nothing I really care about. Nothing I really care about. Okay. So, what are we going to need for over there? What the heck did I come back here for? I'll be damned if I remember. Alright, so, we are going to... No, seriously, what did I come back here for? I remember what I came back here for. we got to make some pressure plates. Now, I'm going to guess what I need for the pressure plates, and let's see how close I am. I think I have everything I need for the pressure plates. Let's look. Pressure plates. There we go. I told you. All right. So how many of these am I going to need? Probably. Let's just make three. Oh, God. They're pretty expensive. <sighs> three. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. Yeah, I'm probably going to need three. At least. So let's go ahead and make three pressure plates. And those are going to take a little while. So let's head back and we'll come back and get them when they're done. And I'm going to go over. I'm going to go over with you guys what I'm going to be doing with the pressure plates and, and you know, how things are going to go. Uh, as a matter of fact, I should have made more than... Nah, I'm not going to use the... I'm only going to need... A, I'm only going to need a few. Alright, so... Uh, the first place we're going to look at is... Uh, the Viper's Gambit. So let's go take a look at the Viper's Gambit. Is that thing on? 
No, it's not. Okay. Just wanted to make sure the headlight wasn't on. Not that I think it matters, but... All right, so Viper's Gambit. Okay, so people want me to do pressure plates. I don't want to do pressure plates because I like the I like using spikes. I just like using spikes. I, I, think, I think, like, it's pretty cool to kill the zombies yourself. The problem is, if you're killing them yourself, you're using precious, precious bullets. And I know that sounds crazy. Of course you're going to use bullets for Horde Knight. That's what they're for. Yeah, not so much. Not so much. I kind of feel like bullets are more for... Um, uh, POI clearing at this point, right? Um, POI clearing is very important. So that's where I want to save my bullets. Um, I will use them on Horde Knight, but I don't want to use too many, okay? So if you, if you, you know, don't have the spikes down there, you're using a lot more, a lot more, like, uh, bullets. So that's why I enjoy, uh, using spikes. But in the interest of you guys wanting to see this, I am actually going to, um, I'm actually going to, uh, Go ahead and use some pressure plates, just for you guys, but only on the middle part, okay? Now, the, you might be asking, well, what the hell do you need pressure plates for? The pressure plates are strictly for, to set off the dart traps, all right? So I don't have to, uh, are these on? <laughs> I'm glad I thought about it. Uh, let's just take a look. Actually, it really doesn't matter if they're on, because I'm going to disconnect them anyway. Um, so let's do that now. No, that's not the disconnect button, Cage. That's the disconnect button. There we go. And the reason we're disconnecting these is because we're going to hook these up in a separate, in a different way that is going to be much more awesome. And you'll see why. We'll get to that today for sure. Um, these things, I definitely want to have these going for today. I'm going to need to make some more too. I didn't realize they were, I didn't realize they were out. Let's make sure they're all unhooked so we don't electrocute ourselves. Because it's funny, like, the um, the electrocution doesn't really do much to the zombies, but it does a hell of a lot to me. Uh, it doesn't feel like it does a lot. It doesn't feel like... It feels like it does more damage to me than the zombies. Let me just put it that way. Maybe that's in my head. I don't know. I don't think it is. I don't think I'm crazy. So, I don't know. Okay. There we go. Alright, so we should be good now. We got a lot of work to do today. All right, so um, there's no spikes on the middle part, so I'm going to put the pressure plates on the middle part just for you guys. Just for you guys, okay? Because I, I know you love that stuff. Um, but I am going to put spikes on the rest of them, which means there's not going to be pressure plates. Uh, I could put pressure plates on the side and stand on them, but I think I'm just going to use the switches. I don't see any reason not to use the switches. Switches are cool. I like the switches. They work, you know? Um, so let's go ahead and put some spikes down. There we go. Now, the pressure plates in the middle will do less damage. With the, There won't be spikes to do the damage, you know. But I won't have to micromanage the um, uh, the dart traps, you know. So, that's the plus. That's the plus side. I don't think it's worth it. I think spikes are I think spikes are really important, honestly. Some people don't like using them, you know. They want to get all the experience themselves. It's cool. And you know, I get that. But I'm actually out of gunpowder. The one thing I'm going to have to do after this horde uh, is I'm going to have to, like, make a concerted effort... Uh, to, to make gunpowder. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go get potassium nitrate, I'm gonna have to get coal. Um, and, you know, like, using guns, not having spikes, means I use a lot more bullets, and that means I have to get a lot more gunpowder, which is, uh, and that's something I really enjoy doing, to be perfectly honest. Alright, so I'm gonna get this concrete out of my hand so I can upgrade these, um, I really should upgrade these to concrete, shouldn't I? Yeah, I think they're okay as cobblestone. I mean, I lost one block last, last, um, horde night, but the thing is I let three hordes come through there. So it took three hordes to break out that block. So I don't know. I, I will eventually upgrade the reinforced concrete. I just don't want to do it right now because I don't want to run out of reinforced concrete. Do we have, yes, we do. All right. So let's get down there and get to work. Got a lot of work to do. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I really waited until the last minute here. Uh, do I have my night vision on me? I do, so that is wonderful. We have to do this ramp, we have to do the other ramp, we have to do all the ramps, all the stuff. We have to do all of the stuff. Alright, one there. I never got the concrete out of my hands. Damn it. Damn it, Cage. You fool. Alright, spikes are done. Awesome. Why don't we just do all the spikes right now? We'll do all the spikes over here too. I mean, we do have a whole day. I think we're going to have plenty of time to get this done. I'd rather panic... You know, <laughs> and make sure it gets done, then to not take it seriously and maybe not get it done. All right, so we're going to need some ramps out here. I think it's pretty obvious here. We're going to need some ramps. So let's come on in here and get some ramps. All right, guys, we need to do a test really quick. All right, um, 
I've come to the conclusion over here that if all of the short zombies are going to be able to just walk through here and the only thing that's going to slow them down is the electric fence and they're not going to get hit by the blade traps, I don't think that's good enough. I, I, meant, I mentioned this last video and I've come to the conclusion that is not good enough and that's not going to work for me. Okay, so um, I'm thinking about moving all the blade traps out one more and then that way all zombies get hit by the blade traps. Now you might be saying, well, Cage, that's going to wear down all the blade traps and they're going to break out. And yeah, it's true. Um... I'm just gonna have to go out and farm the material. I mean, the blade traps are weak. There's nothing we there's nothing we can do about that. Uh, so the blade traps are weak, and that's that. Um, I'd rather use them and have them break than just have most of the zombies run right past them. That's not gonna work for me. But there's one other thing I wanted to try. If I can get dart traps to hit the zombies, I will probably leave, leave the blades where they are, and I'll let the dart traps do most of the work. Now, I'm not convinced the dart traps are going to hit the zombies. I think when the zombies come down here, the dart traps might not hit them. So we're going to do a quick test. Because, you know me, I like to test stuff. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to set up some dart traps, see if the zombies will get hit. If they will, we'll keep the blades where they are. If they won't, you know, then we'll uh, move the blades in so they can do more damage. Um, I was just thinking also, I could put some, uh, some spikes uh, on these areas too. Not a lot of spikes, but something might be, you know, a little, little extra damage. All right, so we're talking about the blade trap right there. And it's not facing the right way because I wasn't paying attention. Ah! <sighs> yeah, because this will be cool because I could hook up the tripwire to the blade traps. If the tripwire, if, if I don't have blade traps, the tripwire is not really that useful. I mean, um, I mean, I could hook up the, the tripwire to the... Uh, um, to the dart traps. I mean, the tripwire to the blade traps is pretty cool, but it's not like, I don't know, it's not that cool. Um, so, uh, we're gonna need a, uh, nah, we're not gonna need anything. We're not gonna need anything for this. Let's just, let's just do this. And then we'll hook this up to, oh, okay. All right, we could do this and this. That way we can control it. And let's go get some darts. I don't know if it's gonna hit them. It might. It might not. I don't know. This is all. This is all new to me. Um, and you might think that's not a lot of darts, but the way the darts shoot, they shoot so slowly that they'll last like the whole night. You know. Okay. There we go. Lock ammo, and then what we'll do is that goes to there, and then this comes to here. I guess. And then that means we can. Okay, so that broke, so that's fine. So, uh, is this ready? <laughs> I don't know. Why? Why are you, Why am I asking you? Um, no, let's 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 do this, I guess. So that's supposed to go all the way out to there. No, that's supposed to go to there. No, yeah, that's fine. That goes there, and this one should hook up to here, and that should turn everything on. I don't know. Maybe. Now, let's make sure we don't get hit by our own dart trap. It's going to be pretty tough not to, but I will try not to. All right. Feral! Oops. No, you don't come up this way. You go that way. It looks like... Uh, you know what? I think about half of them hit her. I think about half of those dart traps hit her. I don't know. I kind of think that maybe... I don't, I'm so torn. I'm so torn. Let's try it again, because that was fun. Come on, now. Wow. Okay, so once they get down there, it's missing her 100%. You see? That is 100% missing her. That's a lot of wasted ammo. That is a lot of wasted ammo. Damn it. Hmm. I'm not really sure. Now I'm not so sure. Oh god, look at all the wolves! Alright, well at least they're running- Well, you know what? That's some food. Well, eh, food I don't need. Eh, bones. Eh, they're already gone. All right, guys, we're going to do one more test. I lowered the dart trap. Um, now, in order in order for the dart trap to hit the zombies at this level, first of all, I'm wondering if it's going to hit the poles. 
you know, the electric fence or the tripwire. Second of all, on this level, it will hit the zombies pretty, pretty nastily. Um, the only thing is I had to take out the plate that was in front of the, the, the tripwire. I'm afraid the zombies might do damage to this tripwire. But at the same time, um, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it to have the dart trap going off. Although if the tripwire gets broken out, the dart trap's not going to go off anymore. So that, that would be an issue. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I'm kind of curious on how this is going to work. Let's take a look. Uh, back to DM mode, please. Okay, come on, ladies. Time to get decimated. Oh, that's a great idea. Someone just gave me a great idea. Oh, there we go. How's your, how's your knees feeling? I don't think the dart trap counts as headshots no matter what. So, is it hitting them? I can't tell. It doesn't look like it's going anywhere. I don't think that dart trap was hitting them. Like, at all. I think it was hitting the posts. I think it was I think it was hitting these posts. Now did the posts take damage? They did. But was that from the dart traps? I think if I think if the posts were taking damage from the dart traps, they would have been broken out. That might have just been from use from the zombies. Although that's a lot of damage. I think the dart traps is doing that. Damn it. I'm almost positive none of those none of those darts hit anybody. Here, watch. Just watch. Yeah, I, I can I'm 99% sure. Watch. See the darts? They stop right there. Damn it. Ah. Back to the drawing board. Alright, guys, I think I have a plan. I don't know if it's a good plan. I just know it's interesting, and that's what I'm going for. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this out. I'm going to show you what I'm, what I'm up to, what kind of shenanigans I'm up to. Um, this could go very wrong. This could go very wrong. Um, so what I got here is... Hey, you can't really see it good with the uh, night vision. Uh, hold on. There we go. So I got a blade trap right here, right? This is where the uh, tripwire is. I just broke out the, uh, the, the plate like I did over there. And I put this here, and I just covered it up as best I could. Um, now, the zombies, if they decide they want to come around and attack this, they can. There's nothing stopping them except for their AI. I don't see why they would. I really don't see why they would. But this is this is perfect. This is perfect. Um, oh, boy. It's getting dark, man. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> it gets me scared. Anyway, so, yeah, I think that'll... Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Maybe they'll break it out. Maybe they won't. Whatevs. Whatevs. You know what? We've got three other pathways to go to if this one goes bad. So, I don't even know why I'm really that worried about it. Um, I do need some more dart traps, though. I do have one right over here that we can take out. So, let's go ahead and pick this one up. And I'm going to put this on the second spot. And then, uh, yeah, we got to get going, man. We got to get going. We got to get some work done. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And you go right there. And then this one will come over right here. And go right there. Now, the zombies see a plate. You see the plate I broke out? The zombies see that plate is a full block. That's a guarantee. So it really shouldn't matter that much that there's a blade trap here. I don't know. That's, that's what I'm telling myself. To. Hopefully they'll just go like this. They'll just be like, oh, you know. Aah. We'll see how that goes. Um, and whatever. If they break it out, this this isn't, int isn't like the end all be all. Um, now the only other thing I have to decide is do I want to move the blade traps out for, to take full, I mean, if I move the blade traps out, they're going to get decimated. The blade traps are going to get decimated and the zombies are going to get decimated. I think I'm going to leave the blade traps where they are for the, for the time being. Um, although I reserve the right to change my mind at any time. <laughs> Could very well happen. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave them where they are for now and we'll see. And, um, maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe I won't. Uh, the one thing I do want to do, though, is upgrade. Well, i got to repair this one because I started breaking that out. Because I thought I was going to move them out one spot. There we go. Oh, I still might move these out one spot. Maybe I shouldn't upgrade them. <laughs> I've got about 24 hours to decide <laughs> if I'm going to move those out or not. So, we'll see. I change my mind continuously. So, you know, 
I might go to bed tonight in real life thinking, oh, I'm going to leave the blade chops where they are, and I might wake up tomorrow and say, nah, we're going to move them. There we go. And there we go. Okay. All right. Now, again, these blade chops will not hit most of the zombies, but it will hit the top, the um, the tall zombies, and the tall zombies are the ones I'm really concerned about. Uh, we need to go back to our base, too. We need more ramps. Uh, did I bring out any rebar? Yes, I did. Thank goodness. But I don't have enough concrete. All right, let's go in here. Let's get some concrete. Gosh darn it. Come on! Jump! Jump! All right. I should have a decent amount of concrete in here. Yeah, I still got a lot of concrete. That's the thing, though. You think you have a lot of concrete until you, until you, you know, until you, like, stop making it. And all of a sudden, you don't have enough concrete. All right, so there, there, and we won't be able to get to those again, so let's upgrade them now. At least the ones in the middle. Okay, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade! Okay, we're good there. Man, I do not... I don't like that night vision. I like it okay, but after a while, it just gets on my nerves. And then, like, sometimes it doesn't even do anything. It depends on how, like, the game is working. Sometimes it's, like, pitch dark whether you have it or not. All right, guys, we're back. Um, I've been getting multiple, like, um, complaints about the night vision, and um, it's starting to give me a headache. <laughs> so I I'm not really loving the night vision, so we're going to stop using it. Uh, a lot of people have been complaining about it, so I'm like, eh. You know, let's just, uh, I mean, I like the idea of it. It's just, I don't know, there's something about it that bothers me. Like, half the time you use it, it's still pitch dark, and then sometimes I get headaches. Might have nothing to do with the night vision. Maybe I just have a headache, but I don't know. It's been bothering me, and a lot of people do not like it. So, bye-bye, night vision. Back to the back to the drawing board with the night vision, fun pimps. All right, so, oh, let's do that. And there we go. So, now we got this one done. Now let's go ahead and put down the spikes. Oh, are we almost out of spikes here? We're getting low on spikes. Um, I do not have a lot of stuff on me to make spikes, but I can make 22, so that'll be fine. So we're going to finish this one up. Then we got to, um, you know, maybe we should run the wire first. Yeah, we should do that. All right, let's, oh, we should do it over there first. Oh, boy, there's so much to do. So much to do. Ah, uh, we'll do that. We'll do that next episode. Let's, let me show you what I did up here. I got this all taken care of. And this is all looking just wonderful. Um, I do need some more dart traps. I didn't I just realize. Oh, we got the we got the pressure plates. Let's put those down. Come over here with the pressure plates. Uh, where are they? There we go. I don't know if three is going to be enough, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. Oh, three is almost perfect. That's great. So now what we got to do is hook this up to that plate chest. So we need to run power to these first. Okay, I know how I'm going to do that. Oh, boy. Oh, I hope these things aren't going to lag my game. I think I remember people saying pressure plates cause huge lag. <laughs> so, night, you know, it's, yeah, that's... Do I really want to use these? If they're going to cause that kind of lag. Oh, boy. Yeah. No, no, no. No. Last, last horde night was bad enough. I'm not going to... People have told me these things cause lag. And they, you can see right there. They're causing lag. That's not... That's not a, a, a rumor. <laughs> that's causing some serious lag issues. I'll just use the switch. Um, the electric fence and the dart traps are going to cause plenty of lag by themselves. I don't need the added lag of this stuff. All right. There we go. So when I was walking over those, you saw how they were lagging. Now I'm walking the same area without the pressure plates, and it's smooth as silk. All right. So, yeah. That's a bummer. I, I wanted to use them, but, you know, again, I'm not going to deal with the lag. Anyway, guys, we are going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.